Lao is an enchanted, mostly mountainous country nestled in the heart of Southeast Asia. This small, tranquil country of six million people seems to have changed very little over time. Though it has had a history of warfare with its neighbors, Burma and Thailand, nothing compared to the devastation it suffered from the unprecedented bombardment of the U.S. air raids. During the Vietnam War, the American government dropped approximately two and a half million tons of bombs on Laos, which neither the American people nor their representatives knew anything about. Fred Bramfman was the first American citizen to bring this catastrophic event to the attention of Congress. There is a good deal of evidence to suggest that the United States has been carrying out the most protracted bombing of civilian targets in history in Laos. That it's violated its own rules of engagement, which say that undefended civilian villages or even defended civilian villages cannot be bombed. Most of the, the politics of the war in Laos escaped the attention of 90% of the Laotian people. Uh, they were not really aware of uh, what was going on. One of the most horrifying aspects for me was talking to the people from the Plain of Jars and having them ask, well, who bombed us and why did they bomb us? What happened was, Johnson had announced a bombing halt over North Vietnam in November 68. Suddenly these planes were available, and so they just diverted them all to Laos. It was not that there was some increased strategic threat on the ground, it was simply that the planes were available. And then you might say, well, Fred, how do you know that? The deputy chief of mission was asked that question by Congress. Why did you suddenly increase the bombing that way? And he said, well, we had all these planes on the ground, we couldn't just let them sit there. Thousands of people died as a result of this military action, but what's even more unsettling is since the official end of the bombing in 1973, over 12,000 people have died from bombs that continue to go off, though they were dropped almost 50 years ago. Dory Shimoda, once a successful New York businessman, has now dedicated his life to helping solve the problem in Laos through his organization Give Children a Choice which focuses on building and filling preschools throughout the area. 260 million bombies were dropped. That was part of the 2 million tons of bombs. 30 percent have not exploded. And that was by design, because the intent of the design of the bombie was to mean not only at the time, but after the fact. Cluster bombs are often concealed underground, so kids find them and play with them, or farmers plow over them and they detonate. Bye -bye. <coughs> One morning, Kayang followed his uncles into the sugarcane field beside their house. And to keep warm, they lit a fire. And the heat of the fire triggered an underground bomby to explode. Three-year-old Kayang suffered grave injuries to his face and is now completely blind. During the Vietnam War, veteran Lee Thorne loaded bombs onto planes headed towards Laos. I'm doing this to bring peace on earth and goodwill towards me. Within a matter of months, a few months being there, my whole attitude very much changed. And there was actually a, a, a particular time that, where I made that shift. Kissinger and Nixon had determined that they wanted to take out an oil refinery in Haiphong. But to, according to Kissinger, to make sure that happened, they mobilized every plane in the theater. We were supposed to be out seven miles, and we were in closer so that we could watch it. So I was on the flight deck and watching it, and the sky just totally lit up. And we hit the whole town very heavily. We took out the town. The light was so intense that it, the dust in the air caught on fire in some parts. And that night, I had one friend who had seen it too and who agreed with me. Because most people were cackling up there. I, I said, this is not what I signed up for. This is not it. This is, this is just murder, and I'm not going to cooperate. Thought we had been lied to. 
because mostly what we were doing was killing civilians. I feel proud of American values and, 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 and the things that our country supposedly stands for. And I feel like that's what I'm fighting for to this day uh, in many ways. And then I felt outraged that my government was the world's biggest violator. In the name of <laughs> fighting for freedom and democracy, they were violating everything America stood for. <laughs> ตูเชียชับเลยเดี๋ยวเรานาจะกูตุ้มหน่อยยอดจิปอกเกลกูซาไฮโดนี่จ้อยหน่อยเดี๋ยวเชียปอปุตเตาเหี้ยปอปุต